This is Jeffrey Aaron reporting tonight from Carlsbad, California, where the IATA Group Cargo Network Services is holding its annual partnership conference 2009. I'm Brandon Fried, and I'm the executive director of the Air Forwarders Association from Washington, D.C. You can reach me at www.airforwarders.org. Membership's just $99 for the first year. Feel free to give me a call and join. So, Brandon Freed, uh, what brings you to CNS in uh, Carlsbad this year, sir? Well, there's a lot of excitement in the air freight forwarding industry right now. Yeah. And uh, we had a panel on air cargo screening, yeah. so this was the place to be this week. Yeah, what was the takeaway on that panel, sir? Well, I think the takeaway on that panel was that the government needs to step up to the plate by providing more financial tools to expand the certified cargo screening program yeah. and allow more forwarders airlines to get involved but also at the same time to uh, avoid a distorted playing field so that uh, everyone can participate and we can make it a successful robust program. How, how does the Air Forwarders Association uh, figure into that uh, equation? Well, the Air Forwarders Association believes in choices, you know, but they have to be choices at work, options at work. And, uh, you know, the 9-11 legislation allows for the industry to work with government in finding a solution to the screening issue. Yeah. And so that's what we're doing. I mean, obviously, the CCSP is the, uh, the cornerstone of the government's implementation of it. Right. And, um, you know, this unfortunately is an unfunded mandate. There are a lot of unfunded mandates, as you know, coming out of Washington. And uh, so what's, what's <laughs> happening is, is that we're promoting not only CCSP within our industry, but also within the uh, customer industry, the, the people giving us the boxes as well. That's right. what's also very important. Yeah. But as I say, it's a question of funding. I mean, it's not uh, that we want everyone to get a check, but uh, obviously there needs to be low-cost loans, uh, grants, uh, tax incentives, anything that Congress can provide so that we can uh, promote CCSP to everyone. So you very much favor government involvement to, to uh, help meet those TSA Right, mandates. absolutely. Government needs to be involved because, you know, this is an inherently governmental function, but that doesn't mean government has to actually perform the screening. We don't want TSA performing the screening. You know, having a, a federally subsidized screening facility uh, at every airport is not the answer. Yeah. You know, this is an industry uh, that uh, knows cargo. Uh, TSA, they're a bunch of great people, but they don't know cargo. We're the cargo experts not TSA. Yeah. And so as a result, that's why we can find the solution, working alongside with TSA together. Yeah. But uh, this is a, a task that needs to be spread into the supply chain to be successful because it becomes a, a real estate issue at the airports, not at all airports, but certainly at the, the 18 gateway ones, you know, where there's just not enough space to start looking at cargo on a, on a piece level. Right. Really, the more, the, the more cargo that's screened outside of the airport, the fewer bottles next we'll have once we arrive and uh, start processing the freight uh, so that it departs. So I've heard that if, if they could reach 50% screening, 100% wouldn't be that far away. What's your take on the 100% on the screening situation? Well, 50%, the first 50% was low-hanging fruit. I mean, that was the easy <laughs> stuff, you know, we got the narrow body out of the way. And by the way, you know, the airlines were, were screening narrow bodied uh, cargo back right. in October. So right. that, that by the time February came around, you know, it wasn't such a, 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 a tough reach to get to the 50%. Okay. But 100% is 100%, and that's where we have the more difficult aspect of the uh, mandate. You know, that's when we have to start looking at pallets and unit load devices, the containers. Yep. You know, I, I was a forwarder and, and for a long time, and it wasn't unusual to have a pallet with 200 pieces on board. Yeah. And if you have to take every piece out and start wanding it and, and screening it, that's a big deal. Yeah. Um, and, and most of these gateway airports, that's where you have all the wide body aircraft departing from, and those aircraft are the ones that handle the pallets and the containers. Yep. There's a lot of cargo flying on those planes. And you got to remember that up to now, the TSA is not certified nor vetted a piece of uh, machinery that will screen a uh, pallet or a container with multiple commodities. They have machinery that will screen a single commodity, yep. but not multiple commodities. Yep. So in the absence of that technology, you know, CCSP is the answer. If you'd like further information on developing air cargo topics, go to www.aircargonews.com. If you'd like a free subscription to Air Cargo News and to our thrice weekly publication, Flying Typers, write to me, Jeffrey, at aircargonews.com. In the meantime, 
Thanks for watching, and keep them flying.